hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. I want to pray with you as you head out today. And we're going to pray against the spirit of fear. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 27, verse 1 and 2, it says, The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Another version says, The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemy and my foes, they come against me to devour me. The Bible says that they stumble and they fall. See, when the Lord is your shield, when the Lord is your light, when the Lord is your is your fortress, nothing can come against you. Nothing can harm you. See, a lot of us, I fly a lot for, for work, so I get on the plane almost like every week, and I fly from one place to another to do my job. And believe me, you, when I get on that plane, I don't think about anything happening to the plane. I don't think about me, um, the plane crashing or any um, accident happening. I just get on the plane believing that God is going to land the plane, the, the, the pilot is going to land the plane. You know, I don't think of anything else because at that moment, I trust that the pilot is experienced enough in that aircraft. He knows how to maneuver. He knows to, how to do his job to land the plane successfully if we can put our trust in a mere man to take us thousands of feet into the air and fly us to our destination how much more God the creator of the universe the God that knows your hand from your beginning and your beginning from the end the Lord that knows everything about you why can't you trust him with that situation why can't you trust him with your life? Why can't you trust him with your future? Why can't you trust him with your children? Why are you afraid? Why are you fearful? And I want to remind you of that scripture again. Let that scripture resonate in your mind as you head out today. That the Lord is your light and is your salvation. He has shed light into every darkness of your heart, of your life. I want, you, I want you to pray that the Holy Spirit will just open your eyes to see God moving on your behalf. And He's the pilot of your life, the pilot of your family, the pilot of your destiny, the pilot of your children's life, the pilot driving and just taking charge over your life if you let Him. So I pray for you today, as you head out today, that the presence of the Lord will go with you today. I rebuke every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Fear of the unknown, fear of, of failure, fear of disappointment in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God will give you the strength and the grace to know that he is in control of your life that you do not have to be afraid that he is your shield he is your light he is your fortress he is your stronghold that the lord god almighty will pave the way for you today as he has always done that the lord god will reveal himself to you in every area of your life today that you will be encouraged today in the name of jesus that you will be courageous today to handle whatever comes your way today by the help of the holy Holy Spirit and I thank God for your life today I thank God for doors opening for you today I thank God for this is the day that the Lord has made and you shall be glad and rejoice in it you have a wonderful God-filled day today and see you tomorrow God bless you